Same hill? Exactly same. Same tree? It's car killer. Well, g'day travellers, here we are back in the high country and we are on a mission to finish what we started last Easter. It's Australia Day and how much more Aussie can it get than wheeling with your mates in one of Australia's premier four-wheel drive destinations. So the mission this time around is to get to Belly Goat Buff and Blue Rag Range. What do you reckon? Yep. yep. On the way. Let's hope it goes better than last time. <laughs> We left uh, Sydney in the wee hours of this morning and here it is just after lunch. And we have got the hubs locked and we are in the high country. How bloody good is it? So we're just on Scrubby Creek track at the moment and we are heading towards Junction Spur. So the plan tonight is to camp down at Horse Yard Flat. Now, bear in mind, that was the plan last time around. So, uh, we will check in with you guys when we get to the infamous Ranger Rollover Hill. Whoa! Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Whoa! Oh, fuck! Careful! Blake, you alright? But uh, it was a pretty good run down here. Left about two this morning. Pulled into Dargo had a beer and I was stoked because uh, when we were here last Easter we got a beer in a bloody plastic cup today it was in a scooter glass how good is that anyway back to the track it's getting a little bit steep hey Terry this is about where you got to last time mate you had a few dramas in the big 200 how's it feel to be back having another crack I'm still a bit nervous but I've got the gearbox fixed and a bit more experienced driving four wheel drive now. Got the diff lock on, um, so I'm pretty confident I'll go well today. Well mate, it's good to have you along again and uh, we'll see if we can uh, we can win over the mountain this time around, eh? I'm looking forward to it, Rob. It's always a great time to come out on your trips, I can tell you. Well, I gotta say, the track is a heck of a lot drier than it was last time we we're out here, and that is uh, that is good news because it was uh, it was raining, it was sleeting, and it was bloody uh, freezing. This time, it's uh, it's warm, it's sunny, and it's dry. So, uh, touch wood, we should get the camp with no bloody dramas. This one is uh, sketchy as you know what. Well, I'm straddling the rut here because um, it is a uh, a big drop in and uh, IFS truck does not have the flex. Rear wheels not going to drop in. Go slower, go slower a little bit to your left, mate. A little bit to your left. A little bit more to the left. Keep going left, keep going left. Go straight and straight. That's it. Come on that line. Okay, you to the left. Not straighten up. All 
about to make the turn onto junction, a spur track, and then onward to roll over hill. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty confident we're gonna be okay today. Um, the track is uh, it's pretty dry, it's pretty grippy, and uh, I think we're gonna make it to camp, have that beer, and get some lamb on the barbie. Happy Australia Day, guys. What a way to spend it, eh? Rightio, we are about to hit Junction Spur and um, those guys just let us know that there is an Amarok that has rolled on the track. Uh, looks like we're not the only one to do it. Tony, the infamous Junction Spur track, mate. You're the uh, the only one from the original group, plus me, that made it this far last time. How you feeling? Confident after getting down that last bit that was pretty ordinary last time as well. So I think we're looking pretty good. Um, looking good to have a camp tonight and do a few of the iconic high country tracks that uh, fill me with both uh, excitement and trepidation. I, I've always wanted to do them, but scared to do them obviously by myself or only one other person but uh, getting out with a group like yours we went that away adventures awesome mate it's fantastic safety in numbers but I think we were right on this one this time and uh, I tell you what I am frothing to do Billy Goat tomorrow you bet can't wait well super buddy close now to where Blake rolled the Ranger and I tell you what <laughs> The old heart rate is starting to sneak up. A little bit nervous about this one. I'm sure we're gonna be okay. Much drier today. Well, Tony, this is as far as uh, we made it last time, mate. How you feeling? Uh, a little bit, little bit apprehensive, but the conditions are a lot more in our favor today than uh, last time round with all the water and slurry flowing down over these rocks so I think we're looking good. Yeah I gotta say my uh I've got a few nerves and uh, butterflies running mate. Yes it's a, a little bit of a clencher. And uh, we are just coming up now we'll pull up and uh, and uh, show the boys where the ranger went over. Oh, look, look at this, guys. There is a rolled Amarok in exactly the same place as we rolled the Ranger. Holy shit, look at that. Look at that. Exactly the same place. You believe same tree, same hill, exactly the same. same tree. It's oh, car killer. No wonder we're apprehensive. Oh. <laughs> we haven't driven it yet, mate. <laughs> Holy smokes! That is uh, unnerving, isn't it? Tell you what, I can. Boys are just uh, working their way up. I just cannot. I can't believe. 
Same tree. Same hill. Same tree. Wow. What have you done, Mike? And uh, Mike's give him a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a kiss. It's supposed to go around it, mate. Yeah. yeah. set up time for a cold one well it is Australia Day and uh, what else do you have for dinner on Australia Day but lamb chops now going all out with the chops we've got half a dozen here why so I can have lamb wraps tomorrow and then to go along with it some of Nini's world famous fried rice oh, this stuff is the bomb well this is camp we've got the uh, the Oz 10 RS2 double swag up, the Aussie Traveller 270. But uh, some lamb chops happening on the old Jet Boil Genesis. Let's go see what everyone else is doing. Keep kitchen, what's going on? Lamb chops. Yeah, got, uh, the short, the short boys, and then I got some diced potatoes, onion, and mussels. Very Australian, mate. Ooh, Very yeah. Australian. And barbecue. Oh, <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> what's going on over here, vloggers? How's it going, Rob? How are you? Good. We have the big camera set up. What's happening? Uh, I'm trying to look special. Trying to look special. I'm looking forward. So you guys have got a new channel happening, I believe. Yeah. What are we called? <laughs> Sandy Expeditions. Sandy so Expeditions. Interesting to rebrand a new car, a new van. Yep. Sandy color. So we'll, uh, we'll see the name, pick a name, match. But um, yeah, the van's not here, obviously. The Sandy Swag. The Sandy Swag. <laughs> the Sandy Swag. So what's what's your plans with Sandy Expeditions? Um, you wanna talk? <laughs> Got me a bit put me in the spot here, Rob. We just um launched it last I, week so we haven't really I think for us, um, our camping trips tend to um, go a variety of different um, activities. So I guess it's also showing versatility, so one week or over a couple of weeks we might be caravanning and touring with our dogs yep. um, and then the next week we might be forward driving and swagging it as well so I guess it's showing that you can still have your cake and eat it too. Um, there's different setups to suit different um, trips and needs. Sounds cool. So where can the viewers find you? Are you on, uh, is it a YouTube channel? Uh, YouTube or? and Instagram, yeah. YouTube yeah. and Instagram. Is it up and live now? Yeah, it is. Check it out, guys. Sandy nothing, Expedition. Nothing's been posted up yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. This Just is... the finger open. Here for oh. oh, look at that. <laughs> she don't look too pretty. She bloody tastes all right. Well, morning in the high country, coffee time. And today is the day that we tackle Billy Gate. So uh, everyone's just starting to stir now, getting some brekkie on. We'll pack up and uh, go hit the tracks. Pretty bloody excited about this one. Pulled up at the Pinnacles car park and take a walk up to the summit now, up to the fire trail. And, uh, give you a look at some of these specky views, eh?
Well, I tell you what, folks. Saturday morning, and I am on top of the world. Look at that. This is amazing. And in the distance, over there, I can see Billy Goat Bluff track making its way across the peak of the beautiful Victorian high country. Tell you what, wouldn't rather be anywhere else on a Saturday morning. Ah, feel like Sir Edmund Hillary on the last push to the summit. So I go across to the other end here and we'll uh, give you a look at the fire tower and uh, tell you what, I can see why well they, they build a fire tower up here because there are dead set 360 degree views. Bloody amazing. What do you reckon, Tone? Friggin' amazing, isn't it? Friggin' amazing, look at that. Well, Pinnacle's done a dust. That was breathtaking up there, wasn't it? That was amazing. And now Billy Goat, mate. Let's do it. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say uh, on the track yesterday? The, a mix of excitement and uh, was it in, in trepidation? Yeah, <laughs> that is happening again. Well, there we go, start off Billy Goat's Bluff, and this is uh, another one of those bucket lists that I have waited for years. I tell you what, the last six months has been bucket list after bucket list, and uh, this weekend, no difference. Billy Goat and Blue Rag today, Billy Goat, and uh, I am pretty excited about this one, so uh, let's get into it, eh? little tip when you're doing these tracks is to make sure that all your recovery gear is easy accessible. I keep mine all on my passenger side floor. Um, that works for me when I'm traveling on my own, not with Neen, obviously. Um, so if we have any issues, I've got tree trunk protector, snatch strap, uh, I've got bow shackles, I've got winch dampers, I've got everything sitting right here. Oh, this is amazing. Amazing, whoa, I'm going sideways. This is, uh, this is amazing, we, I'm like sheer drop off either side. Yeah, we got traffic. I uh, got a bit of traffic here on, uh, on the top of Billy Goat. Not too sure how we're gonna do this. Righto guys, make your way through, they're gonna hold up, hold up for us. There's four more. Yeah, come on through. Long weekend in the high country. Busy, busy, busy. And there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of passing opportunities on this billy goat. So we'll head on and uh, see how we go, eh? take Mike back to the top of the hill we've already sent Tony back so these guys can uh, can get up you're right keep going on that start to swing it
bit of bedlam on Billy Goat, mate. All right. <laughs> running up, running down. Oh, busy day. Just winds, constant wind. Up on the helipad now, a little bit of lunch, and then uh, continue on down the other side of Blue Rag, down to Talbotville. How'd you go, mate? We got here. We got here. No damage? No, no damage. I think everybody's uh, unscathed. A couple of tight sections there with them coming crap. that way. It's pretty awesome, but awesome. Bloody busy, but <laughs> worth doing. Try it. If you can do it midweek, do it midweek. Oh, super busy, but cool. How'd you go, Mike? Beer on Billy Goat time, is it, mate? Ah, <laughs> uh, cheers, buddy. My wife down knows my car's damaged, but that's okay. I haven't dropped the episode yet. <laughs> Butter her up, mate. You've got you got about six weeks till it drops. <laughs> so after that, I reckon it's time for a beer, and we're just uh, doing it all responsibly with uh, a heaps normal IPA. On the helipad. Where are we? Billy Goat. Billy Goat. Like there we go. Cheers. Oh, no to that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed Billy Goat Bluff Track. Woohoo! Well, that's it. Billy Goat is done. Blue rag to go, and the crew's pretty happy about that. Oh, where's the dance? Come on, where's the dance? That's it. Just driving the uh, the little crossing at Kingwell Bridge now. Now, of course, the easy way is to cross the bridge. The fun way is exactly what I'm doing here. Just driving down the river. Well, this will do us for the night. We uh, we were going to head down to Talbotville and camp, but we. Uh, we spied this little spot right on the banks of the Crooked River, big grassy area here. And uh, we set up, it's about, uh, about four in the Arvo now, so plenty of time to kick back with a coal and I might actually go and enjoy one in the river because it's a little bit warm here today. So uh, how about we go show you around? Well, that's it, beer o'clock, and uh, time for a swim. Let's go down and check out this river.
big 79 go today, mate? How's it going, Rob? Good. Yeah. You know what? It actually surprised me. Like going up, going up the hill, coming down the hill. It's like, oh yeah, capable rig. So it's his like, first first time out on the on time. the tracks doing off road stuff. So we just got back from WA and SA. Did a bit of beach, but nothing like this. Nothing like today. So a few water crossings, but um, yeah, she surprised us. Yep. And so, what are you done to it so far? So done the works. So. As you probably know, we've got the van, so we had to set up for towing. So um, we got the car first, had the van, so we wanted to do all the suspension. So then we wanted to do the bar work, so we did everything at once. So dropped her off to the DC 4x4, they, uh, Danny did the work for us. Yep. So just done the ARB bull bar, um, got the worn, with the worn, full strain drum winch, set of laser spotties, GME radio for comms, um, runner rack, lighting, and put the, just done the tyres and rims yep. um, before this trip. So we've got a set of Mickey Thompson's on there, and then yeah, the suspension yeah. suit. So and the OME suspension. Yeah, so did the old man emu um, suspension, done the yep. airbags in the back as well for the van. Yep, so cool. Towing. And Danny did all that. That DC yeah, Danny did all the work, so he looked after me for that one. It's in me even for Chrissy. Okay, I was well, around trying to get me booked in, but like yeah, yeah, good stuff, but, good um, stuff. Funny you should mention DC because uh, DC have just come on board. As on you can shirts. see, I'm rocking the DC <laughs> shirt. And DC have just come on board as a major sponsor to We Went That Away Adventures. And uh, as part of the deal, after 12 years of working at ARB, I'm now working at DC 4x4. Coincidence, small world. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, so I guess uh, we're going to see this in when you're doing the rest of the build. Yeah, we've got to drop it in to do a few more things, but um, they'll be coming up in the next couple of months. Can't wait to have something to do with them, mate. I know, all good. Good stuff. Thanks, mate. <laughs>